Tawe. Tawe. With Speaker Wetangula has clearly confirmed to us and many other Kenyans that the National Assembly is an extension of the executive. It is absolutely ludicrous, draconian, for a speaker who was a member of the Senate to deny senators an opportunity to be able to sit in the galleries to follow the proceedings. What Weta is forgetting is that power is transient. He's so drunk in power, he, you know, I'm sure today even his, th his uh, very thin skin will be melting because he cannot be able to handle the pressure. Why on earth would Speaker Wetangula deny senators, you know, who are elected? He's not elected. He was appointed. And then, you know, elected by the members. He's supposed to be a symbol of unity of the House. But when he decides to come up with his own laws, this is something really that we should worry about. I have mad respect, mad love for the Gen Zs, for what they're doing. We need intergenerational fairness. It is not right that this generation, which is led by Speaker Wetangula, is continuing overburdening the future generations. So what the Gen Zs are doing out there, the Gen Alpha, they are trying to protect their children, something that Weta is not doing. You know, and I think it's about time that as Kenyans, we, need to, we now need to start changing the system of public participation. The real public participation is happening out in the streets. You know, if you go to Eldoret, mad respect for you. Today, you drop down the wheelbarrow from up the, the roof. It shows that this administration is dead, you know? So what we are saying is that there is more to come. You know, people used to think that Raila is the only one who will come out there. We told them. And now whatever we told them, we professed, we prophesized, it is happening. And it is going to be punitive. Finally, I think it is important for any leader, and particularly Weta, to realize that power is transient. He will not be a speaker of the National Assembly forever. We are just meeting with a former speaker, who is now the Attorney General. You know, people come and go. People come and go. You will not be a speaker forever. So even if you've turned parliament into a military compound by making sure that uh, you restrict access into parliament, I can tell you this. The way you are extending parliament to become an extension of the executive, you are trying to kill devolution. You are trying to kill a democracy in this country. We, as young leaders as well, we will not succumb to your stupid threats, we will not succumb to your illiteracy, because this, there's nothing I can define this, you know? I mean, I agree with Sifuna, the guy is acting as if he's uh, uh, not only a chairman of, uh, non, you know, of uh, hooligans, but he's acting as if he's a DJ in a Matanga, seriously. I want to remind him what I told him in the Senate, that a man with one cow <coughs> can never be a chairman of a kettle dip. There is no way he is going to be a leader in this country going forward. The Gen Z's have said no, and we have also said no. Santi. Now that you've been denied access to the public gallery, what is the next move, considering 